thank you for joining us today. I'm Alistair. I'm Douglas. And we are the Highland Hikers. Here at Highland Hikers headquarters, we often get asked, what are the best Monroes for beginners? Well, fear not, we have put together a short video of five Monroes that would be great for beginners. Stick with us to find out what they are and why. Ben Lomond Ben Lomond is the most southerly mineral and is arguably the most popular mineral for walkers to climb. There is a clear path to the summit making navigation in good conditions very easy indeed. There are excellent views throughout the walk over the southern part of Loch Lomond and the many islands or inches that litter that part of the loch. There are stunning views towards the Arachar Alps and the neighbouring Monroes of Ben Vane, Ben Warlich and Ben Moore, to name a few. Once at the summit you can retrace your steps and descend via the same route, or if you're feeling slightly more adventurous you can head back to the start via the Tarmigan Ridge. Car parking spaces are plentiful, with an overflow car park recently constructed to help with the increase in visitors, however there is a £3 cost for parking all day. Ben Honsey If you're looking for an easy walk, by Monroe standards at least, then look no further than Ben Honsey. There are a couple of reasons that make Ben Honsey great for beginners. Firstly, its central location in Perthshire makes it easily accessible for a lot of people. Secondly, and probably more importantly, it's a pretty short walk with not too much ascent. At just 12.5 kilometres and 712 metres of ascent, Ben Honsey can be bagged in 4-5 to five hours without too much trouble. Navigation is also straightforward, for the most part. The bulk of the route follows a well-made Land Rover track, followed by a short section over some moorland before the final approach to the summit, where a series of handy fence posts guide you there. Just be careful and don't trip over them. Parking is free at Ben Honsey and fairly plentiful, but given how popular this Monroe is, coming in at number 7 on Walk Highlands, it can fill up quickly so try and get there early. Shehalian. The solitary Monroe of Shehalian is another extremely popular Monroe with beginners. It has a very well maintained path, possibly the best path on any Monroe, which takes you from the car park to the summit plateau. Care should then be taken to navigate the boulder field, which you traverse en route to the actual summit. Once there, you'll be rewarded with beautiful views of Loch Rannach and the Glen Lyon Monroes. Shehalian is maintained by the John Muir Trust who are working to restore the important upland habitats on the mountain. There is plenty of parking available with the recently completed overflow car park, with a day visit costing just £2. Mio Guardi Mio Guardi is much less visited than the other Monroes in this list. However, it could be the easiest of the bunch, with an average trip to the summit and back taking around 4 hours or less, depending on fitness levels. The mountain sits to the west of the Lord's Range, near to the town of Killen and close to Loch Tay. It offers a gradual but steady ascent for hikers over grassy terrain, with the occasional bog in lower sections, however these are not the most difficult to navigate. Parking for Mio Guardi is free, but spaces are limited as a wide lay-by is used for visitors, so it is advised to get there early to avoid disappointment, or have an alternative in mind just in case it's full. Meow Nan Tarmacan Last, but by no means least, is Meow Nan Tarmacan. Even though this is a fairly high Monroe at 1044 metres, it has the least ascent of any on this list, at just over 600 metres. This is thanks to the high starting point, with the Lors car park being at 400 metres above sea level. If you are looking for the easiest possible walk, then Meow Nan Tarmacan can be done as a simple out and back, coming in at just 7.5 kilometres and 650 metres of ascent. This was how I first bagged it and it only took 3 hours, even including a nice break for lunch at the summit. Speaking of which, on a clear day you'll be rewarded with spectacular views in all directions, 
particularly across to the main Lors range and down into Loch Tay. If you're looking for something a bit more challenging, you have the option to extend the walk and continue along the Tarmacan Ridge, which is one of the most interesting ridges in the Southern Highlands. This was the route we chose earlier this year, and having completed both options, I would definitely recommend the ridge over the out and back. It does extend the walk to 13 kilometers and 783 meters of ascent, which will take around 5 to 7 hours. However, this is still on the easier side of things when compared to other walks you can do. Perhaps one to consider after you have a few under your belt. The Lors Car Park costs £3 a day, although this is actually free if you're a member of the National Trust for Scotland. Well that concludes our list of 5 beginner Munros. If you'd like to see a particular Munro in more detail, links to each of the videos can be found in the description below as well as a playlist containing all the videos. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video please go ahead and hit that like button and if you want to see more videos like this then consider subscribing to the channel.